Welcome back to the Pig Trail Show. We are joined by a very special guest, as always, ESPN Arkansas's Ty Richardson. Ty, let's jump right into things. Let's go. The spring game was yesterday. I want to know your thoughts. Who was the most impressive player for you out there? I'm going to take the easy answer here and go with Isaiah Satania. I thought the two touchdowns he had yesterday, one, he just beat his man one-on-one. -on -one. The other, Cade Ford and found him in the back of the end zone. That, that, those were the ball skills that we saw in high school. And he's always going to get credit for his track speed because of his background. But Isaiah had really underrated ball skills in high school. And I thought that one where he was able to high point it on the back of the end zone grab really illustrated what he can bring to a team. Did he get faster? Because I feel like he did. I know he talks about that track speed, and he's so good at beating his defender out, but mm -hmm. he feels a little bit faster to me. I think you're right. Uh, Coach Pittman talked about that in the post-game press conference. And, Cordy, what he said is with the strength that he built up, just being able to get by the cornerback or safety, whoever's covering him in press, whatever, off the jump and off the snap, I think has elevated him. That was his theme. The, the questions weren't about the football IQ, the speed, uh, and the ball skills I mentioned. The questions was, is he big enough to play SEC football against some of the more physical corners? And I think we saw at least a glimpse of what he's worked on so far this offseason. Yeah, I believe he ran down Ladarius Bishop as well for that interception. Think, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. He, that, that's that speed. Mm -hmm. And he's able to, to make those plays when needed. So mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty cool as well. Let's talk a little bit about the defense really quick because mm -hmm. I think that's something that gets overlooked in these spring games. It's all about, ooh, what can we see flashy plays on offense and, and what can we see from K.J. Jefferson and Isaiah and, and guys like that. But the defense did really well on Saturday, I thought, with you know t 10 combined sacks, three pass breakups. What did you think from the defensive side? Well, Landon Jackson told us a couple weeks ago about a four down front, specifically with a lot of in rushers that would be all in one front. We saw that at one point with him lined up at the defensive tackle. You saw ball pressure. That's a byproduct of a new offensive line. And I think it's also the fact that they do have some guys that at least – on the surface are going to be able to get to the quarterback. You mentioned Ladarius Bishop, who was injured the majority of last season, if not all of last season, for him to come up with that interception. There's a lot of new pieces on the defensive side of the football, and you really don't know which unit you're going to be most confident in, but I think you saw some things yesterday that at least gives you a glimpse of what this defense can be. And you look at what Coach Woodson and Coach Wilson did at Florida State, being as bad as the Seminoles were, and then to take them to, I think, the fourth best passing unit yes. in all of defense. And I know Alyssa loves that as an alum. She does. But uh, that, that, to me, is something that you can come, kind of hold some weight in heading into this year. And really quick, before we let you go, I'm going to give some love to the special teams as well because we mm -hmm. saw Cam Little. He didn't make – he, he made all of his field goal attempts, and one of them, 58 yards. Woo! You yeah. got to love seeing that. I Still to this day, when Cam Little hit that field goal on the road in Baton Rouge and won the game 16-13, to 13, that'll be one of the best moments in his life. He has the ability to make game-winning field goals. I think a lot of people remember what happened in Arlington last year and the one that I've, again, I've never seen a football do what it did at the top of that goal post. And Super weird. Yeah, but I, I think he's confident heading into this season, and I think Sam Pittman is confident in his junior kicker to hit some big-time clutch kicks because I think he's going to be in those situations this year, especially based on how many close games there were last season. I think you're exactly right about that, Ty. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. We'll have much more Pink Trail coming up after the break. Stay with us.